Hi guys, so welcome back to latest briefs. Today on the headlines, Magu provides 16 responses to corruption allegation. The embattled former acting chairman of EFCC, Ibrahim Magu, has again written to the IOS Army investigative panel debunking media reports linking him to corruption allegations and published while he was being detained. Mr. Magu, through his lawyer, Wahab Shitu, accused the panel of not giving him fair hearing, adequate time and facilities to defend himself. In a letter directed to the investigative committee yesterday, Mr. Magu also insisted that the panel is yet to serve him the petitions containing the allegations against him, as well as the copy of the report of the Presidential Committee on Audit and Recovered Assets. The PCARA was inaugurated by President Muhammadu Buhari in 2015 and it submitted its report in 2018. Its contents, as it relates to Magu, were not ex- recently leaked to the media. Mr. Magu is currently being interrogated by a panel headed by the former president of the appeal court over allegations of corruption and insubordination leveled against him by the Attorney General of the Federation. Abu Bakr Malami. He was arrested last week and released on Wednesday after suspend after spending ten days in detention. Um, from the we have the letter. We'll read the letter below. Um, from Honorable Justice Issa. Attention, me Honorable Justice Issa Ayo Salami retired. So the letter read as thus. Gentlemen, publications prejudicial to the proceeding of the hon- of this honorable panel. We act as a counsel of choice to Mr. Ibrahim Mustafa Magu, the suspended acting chairman of EFCC, hearing after referred to as our clients, and on those be- those on whose behalf and specific instructions we write as follows. This is to f- follow up to our letter dated 10th July 2020. On behalf of our client that was the last letter we read so please be advised that the attention of our client has been drawn to serial falsehood publications in the media in respect of the matters which never featured in the proceeding of this honorable panel this is falsehood publications being ostracized or okay ostracized in media include the full name NFIU submits reports on Magu's forex transactions panel. See the punch of yesterday, July 14, 2020. This report was published in the punch on Tuesday, July 14, 2020. Our client states categor- categorically that he has not been confronted or alleged illegal transactions and no such report was standard by NFIU in any proceedings before this panel involving him till date. A client states categorically that the maximum forex transactions he has been involved is in the, is the sum of $10,000 till date. A client also wishes to place on record that he has no link with Kaduna-based Buridi change operator or erroneously, erroneously reported in the publication. The alleged 573 million naira Dubai property linked to Magu. This allegation is authorized falsehood and is denied by our clients in unmistakable terms. It is instructive to state that the General Overseer of Divine Hand of God Prophetic Ministry, Prophet Imawe Omali, in his pre litigation letter addressed to News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, on Monday, 13 July 2020, denied that the allegations that he bought a property in Dubai worth 503 million on behalf of a client. A client challenges his accusers. Of provide to provide details of such property and proof of ownership by our clients. Instructively, the punch of page at page eight of Tuesday, 14th July 2020, had published the denial of Prophet Imawo Omali to set the record straight. So, um, alleged diversion of interest in recovered funds. 
this publication on front page sunday punch our client states that all recovered funds are lodged with the tsa account with central bank of nigeria it is elementary funds it's elementary that the funds in the tsa account lodged with cbn do not generate interest it is therefore false to publish that our clients placed 500 billion recovered loot into a deposit account the alleged transactions never featured in the proceedings before this honorable panel. A client was never confronted with any such allegations in the proceedings before this panel and the news is planted falsehood. So, someone said, panel quizzes Magu on 700 million training fund. The allegation that this panel requests a client to account the sum of 700 million meant for the commission's operations is not true. A client has not been confronted with such allegations by this honorable panel. A client does not disburse any such funds in the EFCC. The immediate director of finance administration, DFA, summoned by the panel, must have furnished details on this as a custodian of the funds. A client denies this allegation completely. Funds earmarked for training was properly utilized by the commission. The DFA and the Director of Audit will explain the utilis utilization of the funds meant for training with supporting documentation. So, alleged bit to Spirit Magu away busted. The allegations that were planned by some of associates of our clients to spirit him out of detention as published above is complete fabrication. Since our client has been in detention, Nine days ago, he has cooperated maximally with law enforcement agents. Our client is only allowed very few restricted and fully screened visitors. No such incident took place as reports, and this is an attempt to bring our clients on collision course with the authorities he respects enormously. Our clients, as a commissioner of police, will, will never escape from custody as he remains innocent and a patriotic citizen. Salami panel grills Magu EFCC directors again. The allegations that our client was grilled by the panel on Monday, 13 July, were, as reported above, is complete falsehood. The correct position was that our client and his counsel, Mr. Wahab Shitu, arrived to venue of the ongoing investigations on Monday, 9 a.m. Our client and his counsel kept, were kept at the waiting room of the venue of the sittings unattended to from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. when our client was taken back to custody. This followed the same pattern on Thursday and Friday last week when our client waited for 12 hours without being called upon by the panel to partake in the proceedings. Witnesses called by the panel were interrogated by the panel without the participation of our client or his counsel in the proceedings. This was also the pattern on Tuesday, 14 July 2020. Our client chose to wait patiently on the panel. Alleged payment of four billion to Professor Yami Osibanjo, S.E.N. Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, or former Vice President. A president, a client, a client strongly denies this falsehood against the respected Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A client has never given the sum of four billion or any sum to, at all to Professor Osibanjo. S-A-N-G-C-O-N, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as wrongly reported. This allegation is complete, this allegation is complete falsehood designed to tarnish the hard-earned reputation of the Vice President and our client. Um, the alleged payment of 28 million to Femi Falan, Falanas S-A-N. This allegation is complete fabrication. A client ever give 28 million or any amount to Mr. Femi Falana SAN as maliciously reported. A client also denies any link with a Kaduna based bureau, the change operator alleged. Mm. So, these properties allegedly cornered by a top EFCC official, Magus Friends. The above publication is authorized falsehood. A client requests answers to the following. Who are the EFCC officials who concerned the properties?
What specific properties were who can add the properties? What specific properties were cornered and by who? Who were these Mago f- Mago's friends who cornered these properties? Our clients inc- insist that these imputations attributed to the panel are outright for good. Our client says that these allegations never featured in the proceedings of the pa- um, of the panel. So we have um another one here. Um the last one that they debunked. Suspected ESC was allegedly queried over 222 recovered properties daily soon. It is not true that this that this honorable panel queried our clients over 322 recovered properties in the interrogation of our clients so far. This has never featured even the head of assets for feature of the EFCC has appeared before the panel. Our client has also not been given a copy of the report of the Presidential Committee on Audit of Recovered Assets. This publication is complete fabrication. The truth is that EFCC under the client was is ready to respond to this allegation if obliged a copy of PCARA. There has been no mismanagement of the of and certainly there is no lack of transparency in the management of recovered assets under the leadership of our clients. Our clients details explanation are above. So um the general comment the charges against our clients are trumped up allegations designed to tarnish his image and rob his credibility and image of EFCC which has been stellar and outstanding. Under a client's watch, based on the above circumstances, a client was not given adequate time and facilities for his defense, and his demand for a copy of the allegations against him has not been honored to date. We appeal to the honorable panel to consider the above and uphold the fundamental rights of fair hearing of our client. Kindly find attached copies of these newspapers for ease of reference. Please accept our best professional regards, Wahab Shitsu. So, um, this is the letter that was given to um the panel of the president panel that um that was the this was the letter that was given to the panel. So, um, I would love to read the comments, but I'll just read one and. Will be done for the day. So someone said, um, the panel investigating Mago should give him a fair hearing. Okay, maybe if that is what you think on this. So why don't you drop your comments? We'll be watching from the comment section of our YouTube page. So drop your comment, like the video, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day.